So the third leg of the Per Temps Handicap Hurdle is next then. And the top one is Brer Rabbit, Martin Leon, Tower of London, Paul Rhodes, Forest Rock, Kevin Minahan, Dame de Campania for John Morgan, Pembroke Barracilla for Graham Clutterbuck, Dolly for Stu Gray, Burry Hill Lad, Darren Howes, Drum Haller, Alex Cherry, Finium, Tam King, Louder Shining. Carla Agante, Mighty Son, Alex Cherry, Chapter One, Kevin Meenahan, Latterly Iota, Darren Howes, Molly Boots, Stu Gray, Murfreesboro, Obi Wan, and two at the bottom for James Follis, Scarfiotti, and Trabago. So 17 of them then. Three miles this time. And pull up kit, no doubt, will be in force at some point as they pass the winning post for the first of three times. And Trabago, so it's going to be the early leader. Dame de Campania is also on the outside there. Trying to come through. They sorted themselves out through that first couple of furlongs, the early turn. And towards the back of the field, Brer Rabbit, who won leg one, has already qualified for the final. So they take the first of eight. And they're all safely over that. Curiosities of this game can be summed up with Brer Rabbit because he was raced in leg one, which is three miles, and won it quite convincingly, raced in leg two, and was pulled up halfway around will happen in leg three I wonder. So Borough Hill that is the leader then from Drum Haller in second. A gap of about four lengths then to the remainder of the field who are just headed by chapter one. And towards the back it's just Murphy's brother back marker as they take flight two. We'll skip over that one nicely. And being pushed along already on the outside is Dame de Compagnie and looking to get on some sort of a get into some sort of rhythm. Tower of London for Paul Rhodes is stuck very wide on the track as well, giving a lot of ground away. But Borough Hill lad need to be half as good as his namesake to win this. And he leads by about five lengths. I'm pretty sure that, that one's been around in seasons past. And they've just come back in, in the transfer window. I don't remember commentating on it so far this season. But I'm pretty sure I did in a season. Seasons gone by, the last season or maybe even the season before. Borough Hill Lab is the leader by a good six lengths. Louder shining on the outside has moved through into second, and Drum Haller on the inside is third. And Latley Iota in chapter one, Dolly after that one, and Finium and Mighty Sun, Pembroke, Barrakilla, and Trabago and Forest Rock, Molly Boots and Scarfiotti. And towards the back, Brer Rabbit is just about the back of the main group alongside Tower of London. Murfreesboro is about two or three lengths adrift of the remainder, but they've still got. A little under two miles to travel. It'll be about another five furlongs before the pull-up kit starts wreaking havoc. And Borough Hill that leads by four there. To Louder Shining in second. Then Drumhaller and Dolly and Lattley Iota. Chapter one. After that one. The second of the Alex Jerry Horses Mighty Sun on the inside. Towards the back, the back three remain the same as they take number four. That's half the jumping done. And Borough Hill lads the leader. As he has been all the way. Louder Shining is second. Drum Haller is third. Lattley Louder is four. Then Chapter One, Dolly, Dame de Campagne. And then Mighty Sun and Pembroke Barrack Killer as they come up past the stand. Past the winning post for the second time. This looks like a backwards version of Leicester, stand wise, but it uh, isn't. And Borough Hill lad is the leader. Louder Shining in second. And Drum Haller is third. Chapter one, Lattley Iota, Dolly. Named the companies after that one. Then Mighty Sun and Tribago and Molly Boots and Scarfiotti. And Pembroke Barrakilla. As they take number five. Just three more flights to take then there. And Murfreesboro is catching up at the back. And that's just dropped out a little bit now. Is Finium the Great. But Louder Shining has come through to take it up then by about a head. To Borough Hill lad in second. Gap of four lengths then to Drum Haller and Lattley Iota. And Molly Boot, Dame de Campagne, he's come around the outside. Trabago is still there. Pembroke Barra Killer in the centre of the field. Brer Rabbit's getting a little bit closer today as well. As they come down towards the final mile of the race. And this is the third last flood. And Tower of London is the first one to be pulled up. They've been going wide on the track. And not too much of a surprise the amount of ground it was getting given away. Louder Shining and Borough Hill lad still lead by about four lengths to Molly Boots on the outside of Drum Haller and Dolly. So Stu's got two up there in the van. Chapter one, luckily I go to Trabago. And another one's been pulled up now. Forest Rock is being pulled up. So that's the second of Kevin Minahan's horses. That one's out of the race now then. 
and he's still got chapter one in there and Forest Forest Rock has been pulled up Murfreesboro has been pulled up as well so they're over the second last thing now they've only got one more flight to take but they've still got a good five and a half furlongs to race and Larry Shining is in the lead the grey molly boots has come through to second Bury Hill lad is now looking a bit one paced in third then Dolly and chapter one Trabago and Drumhara and Pembroke Barrakilla Lutley Iota Dame de Campagne he's going to have to get going Brer Rabbit going around the outside then Scarfiotti finally Mighty Son and Finium probably look out of it four furlongs to go then molly boots chapter one now disputing the lead as loud as shining and borry hill lad give way and suddenly chapter one Burst into the lead by about half a length, but Molly Boots is fighting back on the inside. Chapter one, Molly Boots, louder shining, then Dolly Borrell lad trying to stick in there. Then Pembroke Barracilla, drum hallers after that one. Game to Campania, he's now trying to run on. Brer Rabbit looks one paced. Latley Iota and Mighty Sun, Scarfiotti and Finium are beaten, but Molly Boots has kicked for home. Two furlongs to go, one flight to take. Molly Boots is three clear. Molly Boots three clear of Stable Companion. Dolly moves in the second as they take over their final flight. Then it's Molly Boots in the lead. Dolly's in second. Now trying to close on the outside is Dame the Companion, but they've got just one furlong still to go. And Molly Boots is in front from Dolly. Louder shining. Dame the Companion, then Drumhalla. Race inside the final half furlong. Molly Boots is clear. Louder shining. Trying to come back at it, but Molly Boots. Is going to take this. We're going to have to send the doping people round to Stu Grace Yard because he's winning everything at the moment. What's going on? He's feeding them something. We don't know what it is, but it's winners are racking up. Uh, Molly Boots for Super Stu Grows fast becoming the Martin Pipe of. SO6, Molly Boots for Stu Grow takes then Louder Shining for Carl Aragante second, Drum Haller for Alex Cherry third. Dolly first, Stu Gray was fourth, and Boreal lad stuck on for fifth for Darren Howes. Get them doping men round that yard sharpish.